Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Software Testing by MKT. As a part of this video, I'm going to talk about if you can have multiple annotations at the rate of test in a single class of test engine. This question is one of the very famously asked interview questions from a fresher candidate or those candidates who have less than two years of experience, those who are applying for the position of SDET or automation engineers, right? Here, interviewers just want to know if you can have multiple annotations at the rate of of test in a single class right the answer is yes we can have multiple at the rate of test in a single class if you tell to the interviewer that yes it is possible to have multiple at the rate of test annotations in a single class the next question they will ask is what will be the order of execution of them right as i have said you said you guys in the last video that one at the rate of test indicates one test case that means in a class if you're running two at the rate of test it means you are running two test cases right which one is going to run first and which one is going to run second right let us see practically right watch out So what you have to do is you have to create a class. After creating a class, you can give any name. I have given the class name as TWO. After giving the class name, you can create two annotations. One is at the rate of test public void let's say add and one is one more at the rate of test but with some different name so i have given subtract s-u-b-t-r-a-c-t subtract let's take example now you know what is missing here right uh, you have to import at the rate of test annotation so you import it right and uh, you can do the right click here after doing the right click here you can run as test ng test after this you will get your console so you can bring your console here and here you can see right here you can see the result of a running test here you can see that which one has executed first and which one has executed later right so here you are clearly able to see that add has run first and subtract has run later right now i'm not sure how many of you are getting the reason why add is running first and subtract is running later some of you might be thinking that uh, the reason uh, add is running first and subtract is running later probably because add is written on top of subtract so to clarify this also i'm this time running subtract on top and add later and i'm once again running this program still you will see happily here that even though you just did it but still add is running first and then subtract is running right what can be the reason right guys the reason why add is running first and subtract running later is because since both of the test ng annotations are same which is called as at the rate of test and both of them have the by default priority as zero yes guys you heard it right until and unless you do not provide the priority of any at the rate of test annotation it takes the default priority as zero so it has default priority zero not only this even this has default priority zero if both of them have default priority zero then which one should execute first and which one should execute later right guys always remember if both have the priority zero it takes the alphabet of the method name right you can see this method is starting with a that is why a is getting executed first and this method is starting with s that is why s is executing later that's the answer of this particular question okay just to satisfy your mind once again i'm running it once again you can again see add has got executed first and subtract has got executed later now what i'm going to do just to satisfy your mind once again this time i have taken one method starting with s and i have taken one method starting with uh, alphabet w right now you know that uh in the alphabetical order which comes first you know subtract come first s come first right and w comes later i'm just doing this to make you guys understand that in this particular program 
subtract method should get executed first and wow method should execute later so here you guys can see subtract method has got executed first and wow method has got executed later i'm pretty sure you guys are able to see at the bottom here it is subtract got executed first and wow got executed later just wanted to show you that's why i have done it just to show you that yes we did it i just want to perform one subtraction also it won't take us much time so let's do it so i executed this and after executing i got my output i am preparing the emailable report too now here also you can see add method got executed first and subtract method got executed later the reason add method got executed first because add is a a alphabetical order first right and s alphabetical order later the reason both of them are looking to you in the green color because both of them are pass if any one of them will look to you in the red color that means it got failed here you can see total past test cases is equals to two total time it took to give you the result was 67 milli second the first add method took 12 millisecond to give you the result the subtract method uh, took one uh, millisecond time to give you the result you can see here also first add method got executed and then subtract method got executed so from this program you can understand that if we have multiple at the rate of test present in the program it will always take if priority is not mentioned as of now priority is zero for both of them please remember one note i'm giving to all of you if possible make a note in case priority is not mentioned in the program test ng by default priority is zero and that's what is happening here right so uh, let me show you with one more at the rate of test this time i want to place it on top and i want to give this name as multiply take example or multiple right and here i want to perform multiplication right and uh, now you got to know that total test cases that will execute here is three one two and three test cases will execute but the, now the question is which one will execute first and which one will execute later right again the answer is same alphabetical order of the method name right that means add will execute first right m will execute later and finally s will execute later that's how the alphabetical order is right a b c d e f g h right so let me just run it and show it to you after running you just now saw here add is running first multiply is running later and finally subtract is running in order to see the emailable report you can click on emailable report you can confirm your answer here also first add is running then multiply is running and then subtract is running this time total test cases is equals to three and all of them are pass not just this i want to take you to the console section of your eclipse and here also i want to show you the total test cases were three passes three right you can see the answer here also 300 for multiplication you got this answer and uh, this is the answer of your addition this is multiplication and this is the answer of your subtraction right guys when you are learning this concept for the first time you may see here and understand the order of execution please don't check the order of execution from here your order of execution you have to check from here results of running class 2 class 2 means this class either you check the order of execution from here and Add, multiply and subtract either you check it from here or you go to the emailable report and you check the order of execution from here first add then multiply and then subtract so from here you can check the order of execution i hope this video helped you to understand if a single class in the test ng can have multiple at the rate of test annotations if this video was helpful please give a big thumbs up to this video subscribe to my channel software testing by I'm Kitty and please share this video with your needy friends. Thank you so much. See you in the next video.